Guys, I have a confession to make. The truth is, I read more manhwa than manga. I know, I know, I betrayed you guys, but I can't help it. I don't want to have to wait three months just for the next chapter of the hit series like Smartphone Isekai, Vending Machine Isekai, or even globally recognized manga, Milf Hunter Isekai. I'd rather read the next I Regress as the useless Lord of the Doom Kingdom as the secret SSS Plus class demon Lord Hunter, because that shit gets pumped out weekly. I can't stand waiting months for even years just to get a chapter 1.5? Not even 2 mind you, but a .5 chapter. Like did the author get fucking isekai to another world and can only send half the chapter every month? By the time it's out, I'm gonna forget it. Also, I, I, I really like the colored pages, they, they look nice. I know I betrayed you guys and I hope you can forgive me for this lapse of judgement and I promise to do better. With that said, I'm still gonna recommend models that I think you should read. As a whole, the stories they produce are just as interesting if not more so than most manga out there. Coupled with how they're able to put out chapters on a weekly basis, it's hard to ignore just how popular they become. Do I think that it's better than manga? No, not really. Manhwas are designed to put out weekly chapters than most mangas because of the way that they're structured. While it looks good, I still prefer the art style and paneling of manga rather than the reading style of manhwas in general. With that said, there are still some manhwas that I think are better than the mangas that are out right now. And with the rising in popularity as a whole, it's getting hard to pick out which series is worth the read. As someone who's read an unhealthy amount of manhwa, I want to share with you guys some of my personal favorites. Cause I love you guys and I don't want to see any of you reading another hunter or aggression manhwa. Because those types of stories are reserved for League of Legends players and... <sighs> Rent-a-girlfriend readers. Brother, uh... The next couple of videos are going to be sort of a starting line for how people can get into manhwa, with some series that you might recognize and others that you might not. With that said, sit back, get your nearest poster of Che Wan, and let's dive into it. Now the first manhwa I want to recommend is called Elaseed. Or Elaseed? El Elaseed? I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a very popular webtoon created by the author of Noblesse and the artist that created Girls of the Wild. The story follows Jiwoo Seyo, a regular high schooler who lives a normal life while trying to hide the fact that he has super speed. On his way home, he runs into an injured fat cat and tries to nurse it back to health. Unexpectedly, that cat turns out to be a human named Kaden and is an awakener like Jiwoo. He explains to him that awakeners are people that have special powers ranging from telekinesis, wind power, super strength, taming skills, the list goes on. After learning that there were more people like him, Jiwoo learns more about the world of Awakeners and what it means to be one. He'll battle many people that are after Kaden and along the way make some unforgettable connections. As you're reading the story, you start to realize that the manhwa leans more towards the slice of life aspect rather than the action. The main selling point of the manhwa are the goofy interactions that Jiwoo has with the Awakeners that he meets. Kaden's fat cat persona is somewhat funny for those that like cats, but for me, I just like seeing Jiwoo and his friends just relaxing and being homies with one another. Battles that do happen don't overstay their welcome and are pretty fun to watch whenever they show up. The art style helps to set the vibe for this model pretty well since the artist that drew it worked on a similar story before Alessi. You can see how much the art has improved from the beginning chapters to the later ones as character designs have a lot more emphasis on the shading and lighting that really pop out. As for the characters, they each have their own distinct personalities and traits that make them stand out. Jiwoo himself is a fan favorite among the fans, but for me, he's alright. I like seeing him interact with his friends and always trying to improve himself as a fighter, since he never knows what type of enemy might show up. His overall personality doesn't really change, as he's always trying to befriend everyone that he meets in this hierarchical society. His personality is like Tondro times 100, with how nice and innocent he is. It doesn't really bother me, since he's able to make smart decisions that don't jeopardize the safety of his friends. This is also why I prefer Kaden since he's the opposite of Jiwoo in terms of personality. He acts all arrogant and cocky with others since he's one of the most powerful awakeners in the world and rightfully so. He thinks he's the shit and I love just how unapologetic he is about it. Jisook is a character that's become my personal favorite since he's been given the most character development out of the entire cast. At the beginning, he was just someone that hung out with the wrong crowd since he didn't really have a lot of friends growing up. The people that he hung out with didn't really treat him as a friend either since they only use him for his money since he came from a wealthy family. Over time, however, he starts to reflect on who his real friends are and surrounds himself with people that truly care about him. Despite my nitpicks, I still do enjoy this manhwa. It's a slow burner and I recommend it mostly because it's an easy story to follow with some good characters and fun moments. I know a lot of you expect me to say that you should read Omniscient Reader or Solo Leveling since those are some of the best manhwas out right now. The problem is that a lot of bigger YouTubers have already talked about them and most of what I want to say has already been said. The manhwa isn't underrated by any means since it's one of the more popular ones out there. It's just not as widely popular since it doesn't have the tropes that a lot of modern manhwas have. Is that a bad thing? No. I don't want another regression manhwa where the main character becomes overpowered but becomes the dumbest man in the world when it comes to women and becomes another knife wielding undead summoner. There are better weapons and abilities that you can make, I'm tired of seeing this trope. 
I could go on and on about things that are playing in most modern Manwa, but if I did, I'd pass out from pure anger. So at the end of the day, Alessi doesn't have this massive world building plot to it like Omniscient Reader or intense world ending fights like solo leveling. Instead, it's a story that's more grounded, focusing on the everyday interactions between a boy, his talking cat, and his friends. Hey guys, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow and your support helps motivate me to continue making these videos. With that said, let me know down below what are your thoughts on LSC and what other manuals you think I should check out. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on reading.